From the very public to the very personal. Mishandling of hazardous materials can have disastrous consequences at work, at school, in the places you do business, and at home. Knowing what you are dealing with, how to prevent exposure, and how to respond when the unthinkable happens can drastically reduce the potentially life altering consequences of an encounter with hazardous materials. The intent of this online training program is to provide WIMIS certification, but more importantly, it provides the foundation for using knowledge to prevent accidental and long term exposure to the harmful effects of dangerous workplace materials. To aid in retention of the important information presented in this online WIMIS certification training course, each module is followed by an interactive checkpoint exercise. To complete any one module and proceed to the next, you must finish a checkpoint exercise successfully. But don't worry, you can repeat the exercises until you are successful. This course is made up of four content modules Symbols, Labeling, The Material Safety Data Sheet, Exposure to Hazardous Materials. At any time during the course presentation, you may close or log out of the course. The next time you log in, you will begin at the start of the section in which you left off. After the completion of all four modules, there will be a final test. The passing grade for the test is 80%, and you will be given three opportunities to achieve this passing grade. This course is offered through audio and text driven presentation and provides exercises in a variety of learning formats to accommodate different learning styles. If you feel you require accommodations to successfully complete your WIMIS training, please contact the person who administers the WIMIS program where you work. Symbols WIMIS uses symbols to classify controlled products. All WIMIS controlled products have been divided into six different classifications. Some products may fall into more than one of these classifications. Class A products are compressed gases. Compressed gases may be dangerous because of the contents, since they may be toxic, flammable, or corrosive. Examples of Class A compressed gases are oxygen, nitrogen, acetylene, and even the fire extinguishers found at your workplace. A compressed gas cylinder may become a projectile if the cylinder or regulator is damaged due to the high pressure within the cylinder. Labeling There are two different labels used to identify controlled products. The supplier label, which is applied by the manufacturer or supplier, and the workplace label. The Material Safety Data Sheet A material safety data sheet lists all of the potential hazards presented by a product. There are nine required sections on an MSDS, although more information may be given and it may be separated into more than nine sections. The product information section lists the manufacturer and supplier and the intended or permissible product uses. Exposure to hazardous materials. Chemicals need to contact or enter the body in order to cause health problems. There are four common ways that this occurs. Inhalation is by far the most common route of entry for workplace chemicals. Anything that becomes airborne can easily be inhaled into the lungs and may pass into the bloodstream from there.